Great that you join us. In this mission, you're going to discover all about robots and you're even going to create your own robot on paper. But what exactly is a robot? And what parts does it have? Let's just start with a small robot quiz. I'm going to show you a picture in a minute and you're going to tell me if it's a robot or not. An example to warm up. What do you think? Is this a robot? That's correct. This, of course, is a real robot. Is this a robot? Is this a robot? What do you think? Is this a robot? And how many did you guess right? That's hard, isn't it? Because what exactly does make it a robot? Let's take a look. On the prints before you, you can find all the parts that a robot needs to have to be a real robot. Namely, all robots consist of five similar parts. First, a typical robot has an engine. This engine is often placed in its body. Take the first sheet. Choose the body of the robot that you like and cut it out. While you're cutting, you can pause the video for a bit. The robot also has intelligence, his brain. The brain of every robot is a computer that drives and regulates all other parts. And this is actually the most important part of your robot. Now cut out a head, the brain, for your robot. Then a robot also has a movable physical structure. That sounds complicated but that is just his arms, legs, and or wheels. Choose the arms, legs, and wheels for your robot and cut them out. If you don't like the parts that I drew for you, then go ahead, take an empty card, and draw the ones you do like. Every robot also has a sensor system. That can be his eyes and ears, an infrared sensor, or an antenna. You decide which parts your robot needs to receive information, just like people need eyes, ears, and noses to see, hear, and smell. From the third sheet, cut out a sensor for your robot. Last but not least, your robot needs a power source the energy for your robot. You can use a battery, of course, but you can also use solar cells, for instance. Cut out a power source for your robot. Now you've collected all the parts you need to assemble a robot. Let's take another look. So a robot has an engine, a brain, or a computer to drive everything, one or more sensors, a movable physical structure, and a power source. Now you can color your robot, make it as pretty as you want to. I've already colored and glued mine. Meet my robot. Actually, a robot looks a lot like you and I. A body, arms, legs, a brain. And that is correct. Robots are made by people as versions of ourselves or of animals. They are machines that copy our behavior and often improve it. They come in super handy. We can make them do the jobs that we don't want to do. Great that you joined us and see you next time.